My message today is titled, It's Never a Convenient Time to Do the Right Thing. That's a lengthy title right there, I know, but go ahead, write it down. It's never a convenient time to do the right thing. So we're talking about convenience today. Here in America, especially, we all love us some convenience. I know I do. We got convenience stores everywhere. Pretty much every corner of every town across the land, there's a convenience store. We just love it. And anything you need this, this day and age, if you need some food, if you need some groceries, I don't know if you need toilet paper, whatever it is, if you need baby wipes, you can pretty much get an app to get it delivered to your house. It's convenient. We live in, that, in a society that we just love convenience. We're all about it. Not a bad thing. It's good to have convenient things. It helps us live our lives. That's cool. But today I'm going to talk about when we're walking with God and when we're following Jesus Christ and we're doing our best to live out his principles and his teachings and his commandments, it's not going to be convenient to obey what God is asking us to do in our lives. Like there's never going to be a convenient time for, for you to do the right thing. So we all love us convenience. We do. We like it and we want it. But I'm just trying to give you a little bit of a warning that when you're walking with Jesus Christ, if you're waiting for the stars to align, if you're waiting for your life to be picture perfect and there to be sunshine and rainbows in order for you to do the right thing, in order for you to forgive that person, in order for you to take that big step that God's putting on your heart, if you think it's going to be a convenient time, I'm here to let you know you're probably going to be waiting your whole life and you're, ne you're never going to get around to actually doing the right thing because there really never is a convenient time to do the right thing. That doesn't mean that we can't have good days. That doesn't mean that, that things can't be happy and good. I'm not telling you that everything's going to be chaotic and crazy. I'm just letting you know that when it comes to following Jesus, you're going to be inconvenienced quite a bit in order to to do what he's asking you to do. But what's convenient about it is that you'll be honoring God and that he's smiling and that you're going to have a peace even as you're doing it, even though it feels inconvenient to you. To you. So let me talk about some stories from the Bible where people in the Bible did the right thing when it was an inconvenient moment. And we want to follow these examples that I'm about to explain. So one of those examples is Jesus. Of course, Jesus, come on. The star of the Bible, Jesus Christ himself. He was on the cross, right? So one of the most terrible things I can think of, painful things I could think of, horrific. He's on the cross. He's bloody. He had been whipped and he was tired and... He was hanging with nails in his hands. I'm telling you right now, Jesus was not feeling good on the cross. He was at his lowest low, and he was at a low that probably most human be beings have never reached before. And so there was somebody hanging on a cross next to him, and that man hanging on the cross next to him asked Jesus, will you remember me? when you come into your kingdom, Jesus. That was not a convenient time for Jesus to comfort that man. He was in pain. He could have ignored the man. He could have, he could have said something mean, because most, most often when we're in pain and we're tired and we're suffering and we're going through things we feel like we don't deserve, we're often not in a good mood, and it's it's hard to muster up energy to, to help anyone, let alone lead them into a spiritual moment. But Jesus, at an inconvenient time, when he was dying and suffering, took the time to comfort this man, and Jesus said to him, You'll be with me in paradise today. So that was not a convenient time for Jesus to be preaching to somebody, to be saving somebody. 
Jesus, right up until his last breath, was doing good and was doing the right thing, even when it was inconvenient. So just like Jesus, we have to do the right thing, even if we're suffering, if we're having a rough day, if we're having a rough month, or a rough year, or a rough life. We still need to do the right thing. As followers of Jesus, as Christians, there's never going to be a convenient time to do what God says to do. 